Hello, everyone. My name is Xiao Juan Qi from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I will present our work on 3D graph neural networks for RGBD semantic segmentation. This is a joint work with Ren Jie Liao, Professor Jia Ya Jia, Professor Senya Fiedler, and uh, Professor Rakao Watson. With the popularity of various type sensors like Microsoft Kinect, Intel DualSense, dual camera smartphones, and the dual camera intelligence systems, we can now easily get the depth information. This provides new opportunities to improve the current computer vision systems. In this work, we propose a general method to incorporate the depth information. We take a RGBD semantic segmentation as an illustrative example to showcase our method. Given the RGB image and its corresponding depth map, the problem is to predict the semantic labels. In previous works, 2D convolutions are applied on RGB and depth images, and the later fusion model is used to predict the final segmentation. The process are 2D solutions and do not fully utilize 3D geometric information. Let's look at an example. When we are in, in 2D, the red point in the table may have similar distances with the table with, with the points lie in the table and the points lie in the counter. Well, in 3D, they are naturally separated following the structure of the objects. 3D, uh, 3D point cloud can provide a more accurate context and the 3D geometric information. In this work, we propose a general framework to utilize the 3D point cloud for RGBD semantic segmentation. Different from the 2D images, which are grid structured, the structure of 3D point cloud is non uniform. Operations like 3D convolutions are not directly applicable in this setting. How to efficiently learn representations over such data is a very challenging problem. One of the possible solutions is 3D volumetric convolutions, but it is not scalable to high resolution volumes. The other solution is to use RNs. However, RNs are limited to sequential data. PointNet is a recent model proposed to handle point cloud data, but point cloud, but PointNet can only capture global context, uh, and it takes the raw location information as input, which, which makes inferring the geometric information very hard. We propose the model 3D point cloud as a graph, and uh, propose 3D graph neural networks to learn representations over the graph. In the following, we will talk about the details of our 3D graph network. It contains two major parts. One, one is the graph construction part, and the other is to learn representations over the graph. We will detail these procedures. First, we discuss how to construct the graph Given the point cloud, each point in the cloud is wheeled as a node in the graph. The directed edges are built by connecting its nearest neighbors in 3D to the current node. An illustrative graph is in the following form. And we can see that the points that are near each other in 2D are naturally separated in 3D graph. After constructing the graph, we discuss uh, how we learn representations uh, over the graph. Each node in the graph is associated with a state vector. The state vector is uh, recurrently updated based on its history state and the incoming message from its neighbors. And in, e in each block, the state vector updates following the following steps message computation, message aggregation, and node state update. In the first state, every node sends a message to its neighbors 
using a message function. And uh, in the second step, its node aggregates message sent from its neighbors through an aggregation function to form an aggregated message. In the last step, the aggregated message and the prior state vector are fed to uh, update function. Then we get the next state vector. We repeat these steps with a fixed number of iterations to achieve information propagation over the graph. Now let's look at the overview or model. Given a 2D image and the corresponding depth map, we first cascade it into 3D point cloud, and the graph is constructed um, each, yeah, for each node, for each node, we extract a feature using, C, using CNN, which is recurrently updated with our 3D graph neural network. Prediction is made on the final updated features, and we get our final results. This network is fully is end to end. The whole network is, is trained by progression through time. Overall, uh, our model can capture low short and long range dependencies in the 3D space. In, in the previous slides, I have talked about uh, 3D DNN for RGBD semantic segmentation. During our studies, we also found that 3D DNN is a gen generation of some existing models. When the graph structure is a fully connected graph with self loop, and the, the uh, message function is identity function, and the max pooling serves as, as the aggregation function. We can mimic the backbone part of point net. And if the graph structure is a chain, 3D DN can serve as a sequential model like RN and STM. Moreover, graph, graph neural network is also closely related to inference algorithms in probabilistic graphical models. And we can say if we define the message, aggregation and uh, update the function in the following form, we can achieve mean field inference using graph neural network. Then let's see some more quantitative results. We validate our, our method on NYU D2 and assign RGBD dataset. On NYU D2 dataset, our method achieves user other performance. And on assign RGBD dataset, it uh, outperforms the previous approaches. We have further done evolution study by constructing graph based on 2D locations, which we call 2D DNS. Our 3D DNS outperforms the 2D counterpart consistently, which validates the effectiveness of learning representations over point cloud. Then let's see some more qualitative results or method. This is the original image. This is a prediction of using 2D, 2D solutions. And this is our final result. We can see with our 3D graph neural network, confusions between the wall and the door can be resolved. And the boundaries of the objects become the more, much more accurate and clear. And uh, let's see another example. In the 2D predictions, arrows exist in the mirror and on the wall. And our 3D DN can produce much better result. This is another example. And due to the appearance similar, similar um, between the chair and the curtain, there are confusions in the 2D predictions. And with our 3D prediction, it becomes much, more, much better. To conclude our work, we have proposed the 3D GN, which is a general framework for modeling RGBD data. Uh, and moreover, 3D GN achieves much better results on the task of RGBD semantic segmentation. Our code based on CAFE will be releasing soon. Thank you and welcome to my poster. Question to start, do you have a sense um, if the 
connections through that graph, if their role is largely smoothing, or are there, is there any way to get evidence, you know, what? Uh, so th the, the good impact of the, the graph, is its influence largely in smoothing of the labels, or do you notice other effects that it contributes? Uh, you, you mean the, the, the graph congestion part? Uh, right, so it looks like it's doing a... Can you repeat your problem? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, can you repeat your problem? Oh yeah, I'm just wondering, if it looks like it does a, a really nice job reasoning about the 3D neighborhood and then being able to yeah. smooth in the labels. Yeah, yeah. And so that's, I was wondering if there's evidence of that's where all the, um, all this power is attributed to the smoothing or if there's other, say, structure that can be learned from the data about objects that's seen before maybe or otherwise. Yeah, actually 3D is one general tool uh, incorporate the information, in, incorporate the different information and uh, uh, the, the information can be uh, help uh, boost the performance uh, of, the of the test. Uh, any other questions, including from the, the overflow rooms, we can take questions. All right, well, let's thank our speaker again.